One of the most common bank required repairs you need to know about as a homeowner. Hi everyone, it's Nick McLean, owner of the Nick McLean Real Estate Group. And when you go to sell your home, the buyer that's most likely to give you those most money is a buyer that's gonna go to a bank to get a loan. Well, these banks that give loan, before they give a loan, a pile full of cash, they're gonna to wanna to make sure the home is in a quality and condition state acceptable to their guidelines. Meaning, there can't be catastrophic or even sometimes minor repairs needed before closing. So they're gonna go in there and do an appraisal, do an inspection, and make you, the homeowner, repair them before closing. So it makes sense you take care of these items before it's too late because any one little requirement like this could kill the deal. Just completely squash it. And that can cost you tens of thousands of dollars because then you gotta go back on the market and then you gotta go find another buyer and you got days on market's gonna increase and then you're gonna be in a position of weakness, not a position of strength. And we don't want that to happen. So here are the most common bank repair items that I see. Number one, carbon monoxide detectors. Smoke alarm and carbon monoxide detectors. You need these per code and the bank's gonna require it. They are. So go through in your bedrooms and make sure you got smoke alarms. And you can get the, you can get the combo with the uh, carbon monoxide as well. You then need carbon monoxide detectors outside of the living areas or the, the sleeping areas. And the carbon monoxide detectors, you might be wondering, hey Nick, there's no carbon monoxide. We're all electric here in Chelan, Douglas, Grant County, Okanagan County. Well, put them in anyways, because it's Washington State. You're gonna need that, number one. Number two, straps. Straps on the hot water tank. And you're probably gonna be wondering, what did you call them, Nick? Hurricane straps? There's no hurricanes in Washington State. Put them on anyways, we need them. Call them earthquake straps. Nick, when's the last time we had an earthquake? This is ridiculous. Do it anyways, because the banks require earthquake straps. One on the top of their hot water tank, one on the bottom. And I know some of your hot water tanks are in really weird spots and they're hard to get to, but do your best. And if you need a contractor or a handyman to do these items, reach out to us. We have a handyman that can take care of this for you. Other common repairs that we see, any hole in the drywall, any hole in the drywall bigger than a quarter inch, patch it up, fix it. In fact, you probably, you know, an easy way to improve the value of your home is to patch up all the holes, even the tiny ones, and paint your house white or off-white. Not gray anymore, please stop with the gray. Stop with the gray, I'm done with gray. It's funny, because I thought, when we were painting everything gray, I thought, man, gray's gonna last forever. Doesn't, no color lasts forever. Right now, white's in, you know, at some point, white's gonna be out again, and we're gonna go to greens, yellows, oranges, and reds, but not yet, so don't go there yet. You're gonna paint your, your, color, your white. So, no holes like this. Exposed wiring. Any exposed wiring needs to be taken care of. So look at your outlets, broken outlets, covers, um, broken outlets, broken uh, electrical switches, anything that has to do with electrical, you're gonna wanna fix because the light fixtures that have exposed wiring go in your basement. If you see exposed wiring, that needs to be taken care of. That's probably an electrician needs to do that. If you're a homeowner, you can work on your own electrical at your own risk, at your own risk. Any leaking plumbing, so any leaking water is a red flag. It's a red flag, it's gonna be called, called out. So look underneath your sinks, look at your toilets. If your toilets have been in for over 10 years, they're probably getting worn out. The wax ring gets worn out. That's a common leak that's so slow you don't even know what's happening. Because what a home inspector is gonna do is they actually have a moisture meter. And they can go, they go near your toilet, the rim of your toilet, and they check for moisture there. So if you have kids or grandkids and you give them, you give them baths and they're always splashing, just know that splash might be getting in the subfloor of your floor of your bathroom and then a moisture meter is gonna call that out. See, banks aren't gonna call that out. Banks rarely call that out because appraisers don't check that, but a home inspector is. So that's a bonus tip for you. That's a bonus tip. Now, they're gonna call out any condition that's less than a three. Well, what does that mean? Well, condition less than a three. Condition three is average. So any condition that's less than average, you would know it. That's fair or poor. Ugh, poor. So think about it. If you look at something in your house and you're like, that's poor. 
That probably needs to be replaced. So what would be poor? Ugh, poor. Stained carpet. Oh, poor. All right, so stain, big, big stains in your carpet could be called out. Rips in the carpet. Rips in the carpet will be called out, right? Flooring that's coming apart will be called out. So that's fair or poor quality and condition. So those are my top tips for you. If you have anything in your house you're not sure of, well, Nick, you didn't mention this. I can't think of them all. Reach out to me, send me a photo, send me a text, hit us up on Facebook, and I'll let you know whether or not that's a repair that needs to take place. Because in a hot marketplace, frankly, we sell a lot of homes as is. There's a chance buyers are gonna overlook everything that's wrong with your house and still give you top dollar in a hot seller's market. But at the same time, I've been in the industry long enough where I was in a buyer's market where you had to repair everything. In fact, you had to replace the carpets, you had to do new countertops, you had to do upgrade your house to get it sold. We're not quite there at the moment, but you never know. So let me know if, you're, if you have a question whether or not this is financeable, and I will let you know. Bonus tip, I just thought about this. Exterior paint, any chipping or peeling paint, that's an absolute, gotta fix it. Chipping and peeling paint, that is a red flag because they're, they, they, the bank's just imagining liability here. They're thinking, oh man, someone's gonna eat that paint. It's not gonna be bad. Because any home built prior to 1978, more than likely you have lead-based paint. I mean, it might not be the top coat, but it's probably down there somewhere, and they don't really want people consuming that environmentally, you know, it's bad for them. So look out for chipping and peeling paint. Again, if you have any questions, you're not quite sure, let me know, and we'll let you know if there's any, if you need to take care of those items.